Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm here with the Raspberry Pi 3 running Retro Pi 3.7 and I wanted to show you the TurboGrafx-16 emulator running on the Raspberry Pi. Now the TurboGrafx-16 was known in Japan as the PC Engine. It was released October 1987 as the PC Engine in Japan. We got it in the US August 1989. Europe got it in November 1989. France ended up with it in 1990. But there are some really, really good games that were made for the Turbo Graphics. Now, a lot of the really, really good games are Japanese and they haven't been translated yet. But as you know, the older games didn't have a very captivating story. So you can really enjoy the gameplay without knowing, without reading what's on screen. I'm using a SNES USB generic controller from eBay. They're super cheap. I recommend you get a few of them. You can get like four of them for $9 shipped. It's gonna take three weeks, but it's worth the wait. All the buttons are mapped for the TurboGrafx-16 when I set up the controller on my initial setup for the RetroPie. And we're gonna get into some gameplay here. R-Type, one of the best Shoot 'em up games ever made for any console, and this was made for a lot of consoles. Turbo Graphics 16, or the PC Engine, had a two button controller with a D pad. So I am having a little bit of. Well, that sucked. I am having a little bit of trouble getting um, extra buttons to work, because I'm pretty sure that. Uh, Street Fighter 2 had a kick button. If you if you know, leave a comment down below. If the uh, Turbo Graphics 16 version of Street Fighter had a kick button because I'm only able to use high and low punch and I'm pretty sure that there was a kick button. So this game is really great and it runs amazing with the uh, on the TurboGrafx-16 emulator. Now I do have a Raspberry Pi 3. It is not overclocked at all. Oh my gosh, and my gun got stuck up there. There we go. Nice. Oh. I was sure I could bust right through there. Oh well. Dude. I'm just not hitting it today. So we're gonna try a different game, Splatterhouse. Now if you haven't tried this game, you need to try it. It's pretty cool. And it, this, the emulator runs amazing. Like I'm really, really enjoying these uh, TurboGrafx-16 games here. Die, you flying rats. Low kicked you in the head. Oh, so oh. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh gosh, it busted out of him. Oh. I pressed up instead of jump. Oh my gosh, come on. What do we got here? Oh, a wrench. So, this is pretty much the game, the whole game. You run through, side scroller, beat him up. Pretty cool. And I'm sure back then this was super gruesome. You know, for the game's released. Start and select, bring you back out to the emulation station menu. Okay, Bonk's Adventure, Bonk 3, Bonk's Revenge. We're gonna go with Bonk 3, this is the newer one in the series. Bonk's Big Adventure, this game is awesome. It's, it's on par with Mario. Now I'm sure that a lot of this was copied or the ideas were taken from Mario. But you have a headbang here. Big old dinosaur, I guess he's my buddy, I don't know. There are a bunch of power-ups, and as you can see, this wasn't released until, was it Mario, um, this power-up. In a Mario game was on the new Super Mario Brothers for DS, I believe, you know, when you You get big, but it's pretty. Oh, I think I needed that. We got a fire here. Now I can grab on with my teeth. And there are a few, few fun power-ups for the game. But I recommend playing all of these. Uh, the Bonk's Adventure series was really fun if you're into the side-scrolling adventure games. Okay, so something's a... Now I got a little flight. Pretty cool. Get up over here. But there's a bunch of fun levels. Um, you know, a cool cast of uh, enemies to fight. And it's just a fun little side-scrolling adventure game. If you like Mario, you're definitely going to like Bonk. Got a star power here. And it killed me. I'm stuck in the web. Oh, can I get out of there? Cool. I can't... What the heck? Can't get out of that. Super small bonk here. So you guys get the gist of the game. Start and select. And... It's horrible, guys. It's Street Fighter. But it's called Strip Fighter. You can choose from five different characters. It's a really horrible fighting game. 
Japanese nonetheless. So this is Street Fighter Championship Edition for the TurboGrafx-16. Now everything looks the same. I'm going to go to options and see if I can remap these. So there is only... Punch. Let me know in the comments. Um, I don't remember if... I'm pretty sure unlike Super Nintendo there was a kick and punch. Yeah, there had to be because... Yeah, you could do the hak hak alukin. Spinny kick thing. So I got a punch, you know, low punch. Well, I guess these are both the same punch. It does run pretty decent. I'm just missing that kick. That's a shame. I'm gonna look this up after I'm done making this video. I should have done some research on it before, but it looks like there is only a punch button. Well, does he kick? He kicks. I just, I don't know guys. I might have the controller mapped incorrectly. I'll definitely leave it in the description if I figure it out, but... Super cheap. Super cheap. I'm just taking them out real quick. So that's it, guys. That's the TurboGrafx-16. Or the PC Engine, as it's known in Japan, running on the RetroPie. So that's it guys, that's the TurboGrafx-16 or the PC Engine as it's known in Japan. Running on the Raspberry Pi 3 with RetroPie 3.7. Appreciate you guys watching. If you have any comments or questions or requests on games to run on any emulator on any system, let me know in the comments below or send me a private message. And like always, thanks for watching.